A lot of people have been turned off by the whole movie going experience in the past handful of years. Probably one of the big ones is the fact that it is very expensive to go. We have two little kids, so not only is that more tickets to buy, but with them being their age, sometimes sitting in a singular seat can be a little bit difficult or they have to go to the bathroom a number of times. So when Nebula reached out and asked me if I wanted to test out their new Cosmo 4K SE projector, basically a way to bring the movie theater experience home, I was very intrigued. I wanna say another desire for me to have a better home theater experience is because this year, both Michelle and I have really started getting back into, well, her first time in kind of diving into narrative projects and me getting back into those roots. We've been doing 48 hour film festivals, we flew to Reno and shot a big TV show together. We found ourselves in recent times just laying in bed and like watching these projects on our phones when in reality I want to get this projector set up and have a really fun family movie night with us tonight and just kind of play the projects that we have so far this year to just watch them on a way bigger screen than our current TV is, which is still like 65 inch or something. And as someone who has had the joys of watching a couple of my own films in an actual movie theater, there's just no other feeling like that. If you've made, whether it's just a YouTube video or a narrative film or a documentary or a wedding video, there is nothing quite like being able to view that project on a 200 plus inch or even larger screen. So let's get into talking about this projector and why you may wanna pick one up for yourself. In terms of build quality, it feels really robust. It's got a really nice handle with a rubber grip. The bottom also has a rubber coating, so it's not gonna scratch any surface you rest it on. It's got that single quarter 20 port on the bottom so you can mount it to different stands. Oh, and while I don't personally have it, they also made a smaller one, I believe called the capsule and it's literally fit in a cup holder. Uh, so if you want extreme portability, uh, that has a lot of cool features as well. You can check it out in the description. So projectors have always been kind of difficult because yes, you can get a relatively cheap projector and have it be a larger visual size than what your TV may be, but to have a good visual is an entirely different story. Growing up, we had a projector that was 640 or 480p, it took forever to start up, it had confusing menus, it didn't really have any features, and as soon as I got the Cosmos 4K SE in hand and started setting it up, I realized that we have entered a new age of projection. So I feel like every product has those like highlight features that are always big and bold that kind of stand out because they're the first ones that usually grab you. And definitely for this product, they grabbed me. So we got 4K resolution, we got an LED plus laser projection, and get this, Dolby Vision. I was very excited for that one because when I go to the movie theaters, I'm always trying to see Dolby, like enhanced colors, better contrast, all that stuff, I'm all for it. So this projector boasts 1800 ANSI lumens. Is that, do you actually say the acronym? ANSI, ANSI lumens, going with it. This is gonna give you much higher brightness than pretty much every other projector in its price range. And as I said, it's gonna give you that full 4K resolution. So anytime you're watching stuff on streaming or plugging in your own media, you're gonna be able to watch it in its best formats. Another mode you should definitely try out and test is the Nebula Master Mode. This is essentially their own custom color profile and calibration to give you true to life colors, better contrast. It also helps with different things like limiting banding, which is incredibly annoying if you've ever seen those like lines show up in videos. So this will help kind of smooth the colors out, giving that much better of an image. If you're into watching sports or high action sequences, it can also help just create a better, more lag and stutter free viewing experience. In terms of color accuracy, this projector will actually give you 123% of the Rec 2020 color space. Now, once I got past these kind of highlight features, I was able to just start enjoying all of the other amazing features that it comes with. First of all, this is essentially an all-in-one projector. If you don't wanna plug in a Apple TV, a Blu-ray player, Xbox, anything like that, if you just want this thing to exist by itself, you can do that because it has Google TV built into it. This means that you can utilize all your same, you know, Hulu, Netflix, uh, Disney Plus, all those same apps that you're probably watching on your other streaming boxes, 
you can just play into here. And while obviously I'm a huge fan of Apple TV and I love my Apple TVs hooked up to the TVs, it's very nice being able to just take this thing out of the box, take this large painting off the wall, and now I have a ginormous up to 200 inch display with only needing to plug in one single power cable. Now, of course, if you want to plug things in, you have two HDMI ports on the back. You can utilize any wireless system they already have set up. So like when I was using the Apple TV plugged into it, it utilized my wireless HomePod mini setup, which sounded really good. But I gotta say, I've been enjoying the built-in two 15 watt Dolby Audio speakers. Sure, if you're used to a multi-speaker, like proper surround sound setup, you're gonna wanna keep that setup and integrate that into the projector setup. But again, if you're going for a minimalist setup and you just wanna have a movie night with the family and not much setup time, these speakers sound great and you're gonna be able to hear dialogue, decent bass, every part of the movie experience that you're hoping to have. It gets loud enough to fill a big room. Again, for built-in speakers, I really have no complaints with it. Now, I mentioned before some of the other pain points of other projectors, and that has to do with the setup process. So not only do you have to hook up a bunch more stuff, but when it comes to keystoning, now if you have no idea what keystoning is, it's essentially uh, when you have the projector not perfectly like straight on to the wall that you're shooting. Like the cool thing about the Cosmos is it does this automatically by essentially scanning your wall and looking at what's in front of you and it can do object avoidance. So again, downstairs, I actually have a couch at the bottom half of the wall. So it intelligently avoids that puts the bottom of the image right above that, it sees the two sides of the walls, and it keeps it compact into this wall perfectly, pretty much no matter where I place this thing. Now I did notice that it likes to sit a little bit lower, so I think the laser is actually angled up slightly, uh, so I would recommend it keeping it relatively low. It seems to like to kind of just go up a little bit. When I put it up high as if it were to shoot the laser straight, it actually projected onto the ceiling quite a bit more, which I think is nice because I think it's easier for people to just sit on a table or a chair if you have nothing else to set it up. But it does have a quarter 20 thread on the bottom, which does allow you to attach it to like a tripod or like me, a light stand. I do wish I had full bracketing mounts on the bottom, but I don't think this is intended to be like a projector that gets mounted upside down and like put on the ceiling. So if you're already typing that question, why it only has one quarter 20, I think it's intended to be used on a flat surface uh, sitting somewhere and easily portable. And during the day, I would close my blinds and there's plenty of natural daylight still seeping in everywhere. But if you want to throw on a show, movie, play game, whatever, you're still going to be able to easily see the image very well. But of course, if you want the best image possible, just like a movie theater, you're gonna to wanna to make it you know, as dark as possible in there. And this is where you get to see the SE really shine. What an experience to be able to put on our movies as well as Hollywood blockbusters and just enjoy the full color spectrum, sound quality, and everything that these movies have to offer right on the comfort of our own house. Now, one little tidbit for my creative people out there, not only can you use this just to watch the final output of the thing you made, you could use this in tandem to create something. I mean, like recently, one of our films, Red, uh, we shot in a movie theater, and I just love the look of both shooting into uh, projections because you get really cool lens flares, uh, but also when we did the reverse coverage and we had the projection just hitting the screen as well as the characters, We've seen this in films tons of time. It can project certain things onto characters to just add more style and, and uniqueness to the films as well. So in essence, it's a filmmaking tool in production as well as watching the productions after post is done. The more complex a product is, I think most of us find ourselves like really enjoying tinkering with it in the beginning, but then it just becomes too much of a fuss to get it to work the way we want it to, and so it ends up on the shelf collecting dust. But this is something that you can either leave out permanently as your new you know, home theater setup, or if you just need to bring it out, you're gonna bring it out more often because it's so easy to set up. The auto keystoning automatically resizes the screen to the wall. It auto focuses to get it tack sharp and focus. If you want to do it manually, you absolutely can go into the settings to make sure every corner is maxed out 
to the you know biggest size that it can be and it's perfectly in focus if you want to and it will remember those settings for next time if you don't move it and if you do move it you can have it automatically adjust to a different wall if you change as I mentioned, I have small kids, so inevitably they're gonna be running in front of this thing. And if they happen to look towards the laser, the sensors will pick that up and automatically lower the brightness. So that way it's not destroying their eyes. You can control the SE with the included remote, or you can even download the Nebula Connect app and utilize it there. It's a very similar experience to anyone with an Apple TV. Back when I was shopping for TVs years ago, I looked at projectors and trust me, I looked at the 4K ones and you could not find anything with this quality. Never mind this price, probably double this price and you still couldn't find anything good. So the fact that we're at a point where someone like Nebula was able to create a product like this at this price point, sub 1500 bucks, is just absolutely wild. If you wanna check it out for yourself, see the latest deals and everything going on, learn more about it in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.